The little things, I don't want to say it, but I will. The little things mean a lot. And the reality, of course, if, I, if I'm faithful in little things, I'll be faithful in great things. If I'm kind in little things, I'll be kind in big things. Hi, my name is Father Mike Schmitz, and this is Ascension Presents. So, not too long ago, I was here at the, the Newman House here at the university and uh, we have a little small chapel in our little small two-car garage that's been converted into a daily mass chapel and yeah I came up from confessions we have confessions every day which is just a great thing I love having confessions every day because you know people don't usually just wait for the weekends to sin we so we, why make people wait for the weekends for mercy so anyways back to our story I came up for mass and it was one of those situations where we always have adoration well wow, I'm giving you too much information the point is <laughs> when I started mass um, the book, it's called the Roman Missal, has all the prayers in it that the priest, you know, leads the people in prayer uh, with. Um, the book was like right next to the altar and someone had, usually have to kind of reach for it, but someone had just, whoever set up for mass that day, had just put it up right there next to me. And I thought, oh my gosh, this is, this is really nice. And so I just kind of mentioned that, like I said, I don't know who set up for mass today, but that was just really nice that you just put this right next to where I'm standing and noted, <laughs> It's a little thing, and I even said this. I said, I know it might seem like a really small thing, but the reality is that all of life is made up of little things. And this is what I want to just talk about today, is the fact that all of life is made up of little things. Like here's this little small gesture of kindness. Here's this small, small gesture of mercy, small gesture of patience you can give to somebody. Or that small scowl, right? That small eye roll, that, that small <sighs> sigh kind of a situation where you just experience, express frustration. All of life is made up of little things. It's very rare, right, that we have heroic moments. It's very rare that we have big, big moments. Most of life is not big moments. Most of life is not heroic moments. Most of life are little moments. Just add it up, one after the other, and all those little moments kind of congregate with each other, aggregate, that's it. The little moments all aggregate to become a life. You know, Jesus actually talks about this a bit. He, he says, uh, those who are trustworthy in very small things will also be trustworthy in great things. I remember when I was a kid, I must have been, must, I don't know, seventh, eighth grade, somewhere in there. We had religious ed on Wednesday nights and we came across that teaching of Jesus that those who are faithful in very small things are faithful in great things. And I remember I had a couple uh, buddies who just rejected that idea. They were like, no, that's the dumbest thing ever. I, I, I know that I'll be, I'll be faithful in big things, I don't have to be faithful in small things. I remember this very clearly and I thought, this is interesting. A, you're arguing with Jesus, so I'm not sure how far you're going to get. B, you're arguing this point that we all, we all know you pretty well and we all know that, no offense, you know, but what you've kind of shown us is that you're not necessarily very faithful in small things. You're not necessarily very, very reliable in small things, but you're claiming that if it was big enough, then you'd be faithful. If it was big enough, then you'd be reliable. And it just was one of those moments, even as a you know, seventh, eighth grader, just realizing, oh, a lot of times when things are a certain size, we kind of excuse ourselves. When things are a certain size, they're just like, this isn't a big deal. I'm just going to kind of give myself a pass on this one. And yet, most of life is made up of those little moments, of those little decisions. Let's go back to the original things. Um, the small kindnesses. Here is the book that I know you want. Uh, you, you're going to need Father, so I'm going to put it right next to where you're going to be standing. That small kindness. You know, I remember talking with uh, a bunch of married men and there was another buddy of ours who was getting married. And so he invited all these married men and me, the priest, to come join him for dinner one night where we just, he said, I want to hear your advice. Like, what have you learned over the course of your life being married? And also, Father, like, what did you gather along the way as well? And one of our, our, our friends, his name was Tony. Tony said that one thing he noticed was that every night his wife, Annette, would get a drink of water for herself, just get a glass of water for herself. And she never asked him to do it, but he thought, wait a second, I know she's going to get a glass of water. I know she wants a glass of water pretty much every night. So why do I have to wait for her to ask me? I'll just get her a glass of water. I already know she wants one. And so he just said, just, I just started getting her a glass of water because I knew that she would like it. And it was one of those striking moments of that's a small thing, so small such a small thing and yet such an important thing because most of life is made up of those little moments. On the other hand, every one of us knows what it's like to uh, get the eye roll, like right? Every one of us knows what it's like to have that, that, that sharp, sarcastic, not, not necessarily 
brutally cruel word, but just that little, little dig. Um, or even it's more subtle than a little dig. Again, I'll go back to the eye roll thing because ladies, I don't know if you, if you know this, uh, this might be a guy thing. I gotta tell you, there is, uh, I don't wanna say no more powerful way to undercut a man than the eye roll or the big sigh. There probably are other ways as well, but uh, that's a real one. That's a big one. And maybe it goes both ways. It could, it could go both ways and that's, that's legitimate as well. But I do know for, the, for a fact that as a man, and talking to the men that I know, uh, one of the things that just, uh, yeah, it feels like they get the wind knocked out of their sails is when the woman they love gives them the eye roll, just kind of dismisses them like that. Uh, so interesting, right? The little things. Almost all of life is made up of little moments, of little decisions, of little things. And so today, I'm just gonna invite you and invite myself to say, okay, how can I pay attention to those little things? Because I wanna be the kind of person that Jesus says, oh, you've been faithful in little things. So now I'm gonna trust you with great things. I don't know, that's what I'm praying for. Hopefully, uh, that's what you want as well. For all of us here at Presents, my name is Father Mike. God bless.